You know, what struck me in, in, in reading about this topic in general, and I, I, I've read a fair amount on it, and what your book, I think, is crystallizing for me, was, among other things, was there seems to be this a bizarre um, alignment of interests uh, between Islamophobes and extremists, uh, so-called militants within, uh, who use the religion as a, as a whatever a pretext or context, whatever you might call it, for uh, for violent activities that they both benefit from taking some of these Quranic passages out of context, distorting them, perhaps mistranslating them, that there's an odd sort of confluence of interest between uh, that small uh, group of people who engages in terrorism from within the Muslim world and the people who would have us hate all Muslims. Does that make any sense? Sure. Well, the extremists uh, do misinterpret these verses. For instance, the Quran says that you should fear God. It was the same sentiment as in, in, the, in the Bible. Uh, God fearing is a virtue. Uh, and then at one point when the, the, the pagan Meccans are attacking the prophet and the believers in Medina, uh, they are commanded to defend themselves. Uh, but if the Meccans rethink and offer an arm, armistice, then they're to make peace. So these, this is a defensive uh, maneuver. And in the course of the battle, the Quran says, uh, strike fear into the heart of the enemy. Uses that same word as uh, is used for fearing God. Well, striking fear into the heart of the enemy is a good idea, uh, because then you don't have to fight the enemy. Uh, if you can make them run away out of fear of you, uh, and uh, the killing is less. And St. Augustine recommends that when Christian soldiers are on the battlefield that they try to strike fear into the hearts of their enemies. Uh, so this is a commonplace. Uh, but there are extremists who uh, take that part of that verse and say, well, it says we should strike fear in people's hearts, we should do terrorism. Not what the Quran is saying, it's saying that it's as a battle tactic, you should try to make the enemy afraid. Uh, and uh, then Garrett Builders or other Islamophobes have also taken up this um, this line. But since the Quran urges people to fear God, it uses the same verb, it can't possibly be talking about terror uh, in that verse because uh, it's talking about uh, uh, a healthy fear. So.